Welcome, I'm TSC Tyler, and today we are on NBA 2K23, and we're going to be putting every player into their prime. Now, this is something that we have done, I believe it was last year with 2K22, but it's a little bit different this year. Uh, players have changed teams, and overall, it's a little bit more drama than I remember last time. So let's go ahead and go over the teams, and then I'll kind of explain what I'm talking about. So the Sixers have Embiid, Harden, which, I mean, that's a pretty good combo themselves. They also have Montrezl Harrell, um... P.J. Tucker, I guess, are people that are affected by it. The Bucks have Brooke Lopez, who's pretty good now. Abaka. Uh, I guess George Hill as well. The Bulls are pretty solid. They got Andre Drummond, Goran Dragic. Now, the Cavs are pretty stacked. They have Kevin Love and Rajon Rondo on top of the deep squad they have. So that's, that's just an insanely uh, depth-filled team. The Celtics have Blake Griffin, who I believe is on a minimum contract right now so you know pretty good for this challenge and they also have Gallinari the Clippers have Kawhi and Paul George as their past selves John Wall um, the Grizzlies don't really have any boosts to talk about neither do the Hawks but the Heat they have older Kyle Lowry so like Raptors Kyle Lowry they have Oladipo from when he was on the Pacers or the, no, it would be definitely be the Pacers. I was going to say, or the Thunder, but Pacers Oladipo is different. Udonis Haslam from when he wasn't 40. Um, the Hornets, we have Hayward from, I mean, when he was on his Utah days. And that's pretty much it for them. The Jazz, they got OG Mike Conley. Uh, Harrison Barnes. And then Derrick Rose for the Knicks. That'd be pretty big if the team wasn't that bad. I mean... If they had someone else, then he could do something. But, I mean, this one's going to be pretty entertaining, at least. Derrick Rose in New York. Uh, the Lakers, they were better last year because they had Carmelo. But now this year they have LeBron, Westbrook, AD, which is still a very good big three. I mean, the team just sucks around them. The Magic are very young. Um, the Mavericks, they signed Kimball Walker just recently. I believe it was a week or two ago. So, Luka and Kimba, I mean, Luka has help. So, we'll see if uh, they're able to do anything with that. Uh, the Nets have Kyrie, KD, Ben, before he got nerfed, TJ Warren. Um, the Nuggets have DeAndre Jordan, which, um, that's pretty good. Uh, Jokic has a little bit of help. I mean, might have to run him at the four. I'm not sure. But the, I think they'll figure it out. The Pacers, uh, not really anything. I think Buddy Heald is just a slight boost. Uh, Pelicans, I think, same. CJ just has a slight boost. Pistons are young. The Raptors, I think I'm not missing anything. The Rockets are very young, except for Eric Gordon, who is not that good of a boost. Um, and then the Suns, they have 97 overall Chris Paul. Um, I believe in the game he's like an 89, so... It's, it's a, a decent boost for a team that could look to be contenders. Okay, see, they have Derek Favors. Not too much. Timberwolves, I think they're just a little bit of slight boost. I think Gobert goes up by, like, three. Um, Cat, I think, goes up by, like, one. Uh, Trailblazers, you get the prime Lillard, the 94 overall. And then with the Warriors, you get MVP Curry... Um, <laughs> I guess you still get Headband Clay, but no, 91 overall. Same with Draymond. You get Iggy, very young Iguodala, which this, this is a pretty good team too. I'm not sure who I put my money on, whether it's the Sixers or the Cavs, the Lakers, or the Warriors. I think they all have... A different kind of good team but they're all all very good so we're gonna go ahead and send two years of this and see what happens see who signs where and then just ultimately see who's the best and if everyone was in their primes so a few of the things I wanted to talk about which is a little bit of the drama things is that we have a lot of free agents this year that are players that have insanely good primes and one of them is Carmelo Anthony he was in free agency he hasn't been picked up yet this season and he decides to go to the Hornets I don't, I don't know. It, uh, that looks pretty good. I mean, it makes them so much better. Probably put Hayward at the the two, maybe, or put 
Mello at the four, most likely. Um, another one to note is Boogie decides to go back to Sacramento, and this team looks a lot better than it did. And then um, lastly, Dwight Howard, who I believe is in Taiwan right now, signs with the Brooklyn Nets, and him, Kyrie, and KD, and Ben Simmons is kind of absurd. Looking at the All-Stars for year one, um, a few names that are a little surprising, obviously Derrick Rose, Dwight Howard, uh, Kyle Lowry, I would say, Carmelo Anthony, and then Westbrook might 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 be surprising nowadays. Um and can Kevin Love. So I mean I mean we're already seeing some disparity, I guess, between real life and, and our prime players. Uh, Melo being on the Hornets is is really big for them because that, that team is not good without without uh, somebody of that magnitude and I think he could put them to the playoffs now. Even with players in their primes, it still stays the same. Luke is your MVP winner. Any surprising people? Nobody in first team that's too surprising. LeBron's obviously a, a god in this mode. Uh, Kevin Love on second team. Dwight Howard on second team. So great signing. Uh, Porzingis on third team. He does get a little bit of a boost. He went up from an 85 to an 88. And then Derrick Rose and Carmelo Anthony. Uh, Melo is up to a 98. Defensive team. Prime PG. That's the Pacers, Paul George. Draymond. Dwight. Mitchell Robinson. That's surprising. Good job for him. Uh, Prime Westbrook. And then Chris Paul's a 99. And the play in Phoenix, led by Chris Paul, uh, going up against the Damian Lillard led Trailblazers. And then we have the Pelicans, who don't really have any big people. And then Timberwolves, who signed LaMarcus Aldridge. That's a very good team. On the East, we have the Nets, which is kind of like a big four. Going up against the 76ers, who have Prime Harden. And then we have the Knicks, which is Derrick Rose versus um, Carmelo Anthony. So I'm interested to see who actually makes it. Timberwolves get eliminated, Knicks get eliminated, Trailblazers and Sixers get eliminated. So the Hornets win two games and make it in. And the Nets make it, and then the Suns and Pelicans make it. Some interesting things. The Pacers are the one seed... With no 90s. They have Joe Johnson, sure, but no 90s. Uh, the Clippers, I would say, are not the best team in here, but still a very good team. Um, Lakers, with their big three, are the four seed. Anybody who did worse than I expected, we can go check the standings. Uh, no, not from what I see so far. The Kings had Boogie. Didn't make it. That's no biggie. The Timberwolves... I mean, they had a really bad season for how good their team is. Yeah, I mean, I think the big, the big, like, bad team. I mean, the Bulls, the Bulls dropped the ball too. They had Goran Dragic. They have a very deep team. Didn't do anything with it. Hornets is kind of, I don't know. I mean, Melo tried his best. Hayward actually balled out. Lamelo balled out. It's just, I mean, I don't know how far you can carry that team, I guess. The Pacers one is really surprising, though. Round one, we'll just see who makes it. And the Hornets just swept the Pacers. So not only did the one seed lose, but they got swept by the eight seed. I mean, I guess playoff, Carmelo is just built different. I'm just ready to get to the next rounds. And Miami is going to lay waste to Charlotte. Dang, they got swept. Brooklyn wins in seven. Uh, Denver wins in six. Lakers lose in seven. So now we have the Clippers and the Nuggets versus the Heat and the Nets. I honestly think whatever team wins the East is going to win this. Nets win game one. Nets win game two. Heat win game three. Nets win game four. Heat win again. Yep. I think if the Heat win, this goes to 7, right? 
and they look like they're going to win. It's not that close. And it's because of Ola Depot and Jimmy Butler gets a triple double. And we're going to game seven over here. Looking at the other side. Oh, I simulated the game. No. So we have the Nets versus the Clippers, John Wall and Kyrie. What team do I think is going to win this? I think it's got to be the Nets, which that'd be a pretty good story. They were the seventh seed. Nets take game one and two. Clippers take three, Nets take four, and it's not over, but the Nets win the championship. And Dwight Howard, who is in free agency, is your finals MVP. First thing interesting would be Kimba leaving, uh, Luka and going to the Jazz, teaming up with Conley and Markkinen. And Melo joins the Pacers with Halliburton, which that might not be the worst move. And Dwight Howard... Decides to uh, start a team by himself with Devin Vassell and Kelton Johnson. I, that one is not as smart. I'll figure it out in a second, though. Like, LaMarcus Aldridge, I don't know where he is. Oh, they're in free... Rondo, Blake Griffin, and I assume LaMarcus Aldridge and Boogie are just all in free agency still. Okay, well, we'll see what teams they end up on, and we'll just figure out near playoff time. At the end of the season, LeBron wins MVP. Uh, looking at the first team, we have Luka, LaMelo, LeBron, Kevin Love again, Dwight Howard again. Second team, Carmelo, who yeah, is on the Pacers with Halliburton, kind of scary. Jokic, Shea, Westbrook, Harden, Ja, Katie, Giannis, Bam. Hornets make it through. Timberwolves make it through, Warriors make it through, Nets make it through. Round one, we'll see if any surprises happen. Grizzlies, I think, get swept by the Mavericks. Nets get swept by the Celtics. Thunder lose to the Nuggets. Warriors lose to the Clippers. Sixers lose to the Mag the Magic. Um, the Bucks lose to the Pacers. The Hornets lose to the Cavaliers. Timberwolves lose to the Lakers. In seven, might I add. Any surprises? Yeah, I, I have one. The Magic. The Magic of LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, sure, this team has just developed greatly. I, I guess they got Reggie Jackson, too. And Boston murdered the Magic. Mavericks lose. Yeah, obviously. Wait, no. Oh, Mavericks lost to the Lakers in five. Um, the Clippers lose in six to the Nuggets, and the Pacers win in seven against the Cavaliers, which is actually very surprising. So now we have Al Horford leading the way, Mello leading the way on the other side. Then we have Westbrook, LeBron, AD, Cousins against DeAndre Jordan. Boston game one, Pacers game two. Pacers game three. I want to see if Melo did anything here. I mean, yeah, decent stat line. Game four. We'll see if... Oh, Horford got a double-double. Watch out. Boston wins game five. Indiana wins game six. And the Lakers beat the Nuggets to advance. We're very close. Is there a chance we jump in? No, there's not. The Pacers murder them. And it's Halliburton and Westbrook who are your MVPs. I mean, Melo gets a a double-double. Buddy Heald goes crazy. And in the end, Horford just didn't do enough, you know? Lakers-Pacers, I have no idea who wins, but whatever side wins is a W for the prime teams. Because, I mean, it's either Mello wins or Westbrook wins. So, Lakers take game one. Pacers are big-time underdogs. And they're up 2-1, 3-1. I mean, we know it's LeBron. There's a chance. And the Pacers win in five. Halliburton and Mello. That's, that's insane. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm surprised by the results. Uh, the Nets and the Lakers, well, I mean teams that you would expect to win the title normally maybe 
Um, yeah, no, I, I think it was really cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.